It's a beautiful day, it's like 70 degrees. Um, I forgot how I got here, I used a GPS. Where in Alfred are you guys actually located? Oh, so uh, we're located off of exit 11, called Windward Parkway, off of 400, which is the, a main thoroughfare, an artery outside of Atlanta. Okay, so. okay, OTP. OTP for sure. OTP. Yeah. Okay. And today we're gonna actually go ahead and go into the mailbag uh, with some questions um, that we've been getting. And uh, Cigar Hacks, what we do um, in this segment, we actually answer, answer questions, whether it be um, how to light, how to smoke, um, how to infuse, whatever, any questions. No question is actually uh, too simple. No question is too difficult. Just go ahead and ask them. And I'm gonna go ahead and reach in and grab some here. And we're gonna go ahead and go with these. We're gonna go right into it. So, Greg from uh, Dunwoody, Georgia. Okay, so you're right there just outside of Atlanta. He asks, how do you inhale cigar Okay, sorry. Do you inhale cigar smoke? Do you inhale cigar when you start uh, smoking? <laughs> and um, this is usually individuals that's either smoking cigarettes or coming from Colorado. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to find a political way of actually saying that. Okay, good, good, good. Or the uh, eight other states that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you want to go ahead and go with this one? Yeah, sure. So, so on the on the topic of in, inhaling cigar smoke, um, it is definitely not advised. Cigars, if you're a cigarette smoker, for instance, uh, cigarettes, the way they're processed, they are actually designed to be acidic. So when people talk about a cigarette being smooth, it, it actually kind of binds with your body chemistry. So the more acidic, the smoother it tastes. Um, cigars are actually uh, heavily alkalinic. So I mean, this, and that's what gives cigars their great flavor. It's all the, the, the you know, the, the, the trace minerals and the nutrients in the soil. So your magnesiums, your lithiums, basically anything from the alkaline group on the periodic table. Let me, hold on, hold on. Let, let me ask a question. Yeah. What did you study in college? What did I study in college? Yeah, because um, I mean, you're going real deep with this, you know, <laughs> real deep. I mean, um, we're talking about the, the, the table and everything. Come so, so I studied <laughs> I studied music and uh, fine arts management, actually. Okay, <laughs> I rest my case. So we continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but because of that, um, cigars, when they're inhaled, uh, can be very very harsh. They will, you know, they have a much stronger nicotine content. Even the mildest cigar generally has a stronger nicotine content than, uh, than a cigarette even. True. So, so if, if you really hate yourself, inhale your cigar because you're going to be sick. You're going to get uh, destroyed, really. So, You know, wh um, one thing I usually say with, um, to draw a comparison. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you go to a wine tasting, and this is basically to give you an idea, when you go to a wine tasting, you, you get a glass and you walk through, you'll taste maybe 10, 15, 20, sometimes 100 wines. You know, I don't think anybody tastes that much during the day, but let's just say you're tasting wine. You don't actually swallow the wine, so you take a sip, you literally gurgle it, let, let the, uh, your taste buds do the work, and you would spit it into a bucket. So mm -hmm. with a cigar, it's basically the same thing. Right. Okay. You. Yeah, so you, you draw it in, you let the, the smoke kind of dance around the palate a little bit. Right. And then you just let the, you can let the smoke just kind of gently waft out. You can uh, retrohale, which is a whole different uh, topic. We'll course. talk about we'll that talk about another time. Later. All right. So um, that answers your question. The short um, answer is no, if you made it this far. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna go to another one. Uh, you can toss that, we don't need that. 